What's good, everybody? What's good, YouTube? I'm Jack, and this is Jack Reacts. And for today's reacts, y'all, we got Tony Braxton spending my time with you. Big shout out to Rory Shine for the request on this one. I appreciate the love and support. Listen, man, if you're watching, there's a song or live performance you want me to check out as well. Um, click the link down below, send me your song, and I'll react to it and shout you out in the video. We got Tony Braxton, man. Love Tony on the channel. Um, we did a lot of her the first couple of years, and um, since then, not so much. I actually just checked right now. In the last two years, I've only reacted to her three times. So it's a shame because she's a super, super talented and iconic artist. And I love, you know what I'm saying, the, the deep voice, man. Always love the deep voice. Anyways, though, let's get straight into it, man. I'm excited for this one. Oh. We got like, it sounds like some new Jack Swing or something. Definitely, definitely early Tony for sure. I like the drum break breakdown, it's nice. I love, I love, um, I love early Tony, man, and I love how this sounds for sure. Like, I this that era of um, the like kind of early to mid '90s style production, I, I thought really matched with her voice. She she has a really classical voice to me. Like, I would put her voice in the same era as like a as like um, I'm blanking out here, but like like some of the the early '80s R&B artists. So, uh, but w which most of the songs that I think of, and I think that most people will think of, they associate with like early 2000s where you had the kind of, the keen man enough, which I love, that's my song, but like more, um, again, very like 2000s, you know, like Timbaland vibes, stuff like that. But I think, again, like her voice, although it works perfect on that newer type sound, um, she has a very classical voice. I could hear her in an early 80s song, like a... Uh, Anita Baker record or something like that. She would kill an Anita Baker record. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I I just really like this sound for her. I love the energy of this record though. I like the production, upbeat. It's kind of I don't know if you would call this new Jack Swing or not. I, I don't think it's quite quick enough or it's dancey enough. But it had those type drums from like a like a early uh, Janet Jackson record is what reminded me. Um, but yeah, good vibe. Her vocals are always killer, man. Like I said, just love how her voice sounds naturally. Let's get back into it, man.
Shout out Tony Braxton, man. Real good vibes right here. Thank you again to Rory as well for the request. And you always come through with the great request, man. Speaking of which, if you'd like me to react to a song or live performance of your choice, click that link down below. Send me your song. I'll react to it and shout you out. Um, but yeah, no, great vibes, great sound. Again, I just like, I love the the early Tony Braxton records for sure. They just have like that soft spot in my heart. But actually, when I first started reacting to her, the first ever songs I did from her were to her her earlier songs as well so i associate it also like the first year of my channel too uh which again by the way we just hit four years on the channel uh like a, a week or so ago so that's cool man um or no month ago month ago yeah man four years coming up on five now crazy not to get off topic um focusing on the song yeah good vibes man for sure um probably would add this to my uh, 90s r&b playlist um listen i encourage y'all to go add it to your playlist as well support the original artist leave a like if you enjoyed the video y'all have a blessed day though man and peace